Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nano Kami the Two Prince and Knights of Kyoto Part 2. <laughs> I mean, you have Lenchan right here, so I mean, I, I don't know if that's important anymore, but I mean, so sentimental value for you. That's a messed up logic. <laughs> silly Uzume. An hour or so later, Uzume was finally ready to leave the sanctuary. Waiting for her gave my leg enough time to recover too. Agamatsu-san was able to leave and enter through the gate with no issues. Shouldn't be too surprised, I guess. Well, seems like it's working the same as ever. I've got a car ready past the gate, so we'll take the luggage out first. Seeing that, both Tokumi-san and Akamatsu-san leave the sanctuary. Now it's just me and Uzume. Oh. Oh, he, oh he's here. <laughs> yep. The idea that we could get sent anywhere when we pass through really has me on edge. Oh yeah, she hasn't left yet. Well, isn't she so excited? Now I feel dumb for being nervous. I keep my sword in my right hand and Uzume's hand in my left, just to make sure we don't get split up. If we get sent straight into their base, I'm ready. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Looking around, notice that we're at the same place as ever. <sighs> <You got that. sighs> I was like, where is she? on fire oh looks like the rain cleared up makes it hard to believe yeah so that's how the world is out here uh, don't worry doesn't seem like mitsurugi sounds around Hearing Tohumi-san's reassuring voice helps me relax. Ah, oh, is she not gonna be there? Probably. And new. Right, we're the only survivors? Uh, why did it have to come to this? Final count is 22 dead, including Moria-san and Yoshimura-san. I'm the only one injured at least. We've still got two traders on our hands, though. No exaggeration to say that the capital branch was almost completely annihilated. We've also got two people missing, Shino and Ruka. I'm confident they're both okay, so let's stay positive for now. At the very least, both Shino's and Sana's parents are safe. That's one silver lining. Okay, so it seems like... Ruka killed... Tsuchimikado sans because, like, I, like, you know, what she suspected is that no one knows. And that, you know, most of the capital branch is kind of uh, destroyed. Well, hardly a surprising response. We are barely functioning as an organization right now. Uzume no Sundeta Kamukaiga, 
敵の居場所とつながっている可能性がありますだから交代で警戒をする必要がありますお願いです協力してもらえませんか If you're willing, then I'm Akamatsu s i g n i n g myself. We'll do it. No, we can't let you do that. It's up to us to pass down the stories of these brave enough to remain at Fushima Inari like Miyata san requested. Yeah, we need to get a grip before we can even dream of doing that. An earthquake? No, worse. Final Seal Stone's been destroyed. If Suji Mikado san's info can be trusted, then we're still, we've still got some time. Apparently, just destroying all the stones won't seal the deal. Makes sense. Otherwise, Mitsurugi san wouldn't have told me to try and stop her. I'm not concerned with that right now, anyway. That's other stuff we need to take care of. Good idea. I imagine that Shino managed to save Ruga, but she can't make it back for whatever reason. How would you like holding up? I took Uzume chan over to her parents' place, Len chan. Off we go. How long has it been since Shino and I split up? The fact that she's not back yet means either she's injured or she took Tsuchi Tsuchigumo down and is too busy flirting with Ruka. It has to be one of the two, right? She'd already expended most of their energy against that fox and she had to take on Tsuchigumo right afterwards. In all honesty, I'm not too confident that I would have been able to pull through. I talked to myself out loud in an attempt to fight back the pessimism. That doesn't help shake this bad feeling I have, though. Lenchon, wait. I hear Aka Akamatsu san's voice and the sound of his approaching footsteps. <sighs> We just got a call from Sar Sarume san. <sighs> He said that Shinome chan's coming home. I can't believe she made me wear like that. I'm gonna have to pinch her tummy as punishment. But no Ruka though. Or hang on, he seems down. I've never seen her cry this hard before. Uzume holds Shino tight, patting her back like you would a small child. I know I get through to her when she's like this, I need to focus on doing what I can elsewhere. Yeah, I'll be good. Aw, yay. Aw, where is she gonna go? Right, chances are something's happened to Ruka. She'd never cry like that in front of me if it were something minor. Ruka's house? I'm at Ruka's house, but... Ah, no doorbell. Not like I need one to know there's no one home. Can't sense anyone inside. The sun's gonna get set soon, but I guess I'll go check Di Dyke Row before heading back. How far is that? Lanchan, you're okay. She knows mom pulls me aside. Could you worried about my well-being? 
はい私は大丈夫ですあおじさんも無事戻ってきてましたよ Would you may film me and what's happened? I never expected things to end up like this. Eh, Korekara got a hand is Ano Shinoni Nani got the car, Wakarimaska. Not entirely sure. No, she came over in tears and said Ruga was gone before shutting herself in her room. Oh, yo. Well, we'll find out what, um, what, uh, what Len is gonna do in the next episode, everybody. Ooh, will she find her? Who knows? If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!